What's going on, you guys? <coughs> Demise here. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is making or er, doing a tutorial on how to make pop out AVI logos. Um, I'll show you basically what they look like. Hold up. This is my favorite one right here. This one. That's what they are going to look like. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, um, you've seen this one that I made for my boy Meek TV. And if you're watching this, which I hope you are, um, I love you. Just kidding. And then I, I don't know. This one's kind of weird. I don't know. All right, but um. So I'm gonna go into this the Reno Art Gold Pack, which is amazing. I'm gonna grab a render, which I'm probably gonna use. This one's actually really sick, so I'm gonna grab this. And <clears throat> if you use like renders and without like the background in it, say like a game stock like this. Hold up, one of these, right? Say like you use this, and you want this guy to pop out, it's going to be so much harder because you have to mark him out, and, you know, I tried, but it just doesn't, it's not worth it, honestly. It looks kind of bad, but this one is easier because all you have to do, I'll jump right into it right now, um, so basically what you want to do is, you want to press Control J. And then you're going to drag this one into a clipping mask. Or, if you don't know, just right... Hold up, oh, I'm going to release it real fast. You're going to right click, press create clipping mask. And I'm going to go up here and make this one where it's turned off for now. Which I'm just going to... If you want to put it as an overlay, you can... But the, most of the ones you want to keep it on normal, so they can see everything. And that. Yeah. Now, what I do normally is I just use this. I make this visible, and I decide what I'm gonna make pop out. Which I'm probably gonna make his leg and this pop out, and his arm pop out <clears throat> so once you do, once you figure that out what I do I turn down the opacity to like where you can kind of see it and, and then I just take the pen tool and if you're wondering how I'm going in you know zooming in I just press control and the plus button and the minus button up by your like F but F11 and all that. So I'm gonna turn this opacity up. And what what I'm gonna do, or what I do is, I normally just take the pen tool and mark out whatever I want to stick out, and delete the surroundings it, or delete everything that surrounds it. Which I don't. Some people like my boy Nude AV. Um, he uses the magnetic tool, which I'll sh eh, it's kind of hard, honestly. I've tried it a few times, and it's just, it's, it's a good way if you're advanced in Photoshop. It's just kind of hard. And sorry for my screen going black all the time. I have no clue why it does that. This is kind of the boring part of it. Basically, where like everything you do is just 
normally what I do is I just listen to music. Uh, you may hear some noises from my TV. Um, I'm in my room by myself right now. Normally, my brother would be in here and making a whole bunch of noise. And my Skype is going off now. Uh, Excuse me. This is probably the most, this is the most boring part. Just marking around. I think I'm, yeah, I'm gonna stop it and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Alright, so if you can't see, once you get it all marked out, the section that you want to delete, yeah, you, as you can see, the little line that goes around and everything, I'm gonna right click, press make selection, OK, or enter, and then it'll come to that, and you're gonna wanna put it all up. You're gonna wanna press delete, and it'll delete that. And then you want to go to this, right click, and deselect. And then after you've done that, whatever else you want to, which see that, I don't think that looks very well, so I'm probably going to take the hand out of that. <coughs> see, I, I like this. This is my favorite part, honestly. Wait, hold up. I'm going to go back and... Probably I don't I don't think that looks very well taking all that out. So I'm just gonna deselect all this. Basically take it out like that. And then I'm just gonna make make selection. Okay, delete. Okay, that looks a whole lot better. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So basically, all right, all right, all right. That's better. That's better. That's better. All right. So right click. Make selection. Sorry for all the technical difficulties. You know, I I don't really do tutorials much. I've done one other one, and that was for editing. I think this tutorial was much needed. Well, you can see the little line like right here. So I'm just gonna move it over. Oh, uh, actually. I'm sure. Actually, hold on. I know what it is. This time I'm going to have it corrected. select sorry about that little Skype thing it's just been going off and that's kind of bugging me all right so after after I've done that you know I'm probably gonna take out the hands and just make the sword or whatever yeah that's what I'm gonna do okay. so basically what you want to do this is probably the easiest logo that I've worked with because I mean I, I've worked with some harder logos before on this and you know 
Hold up, I'm gonna... about right there and then turn the opacity back oh I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with that. I, I can hear. And uh, <coughs> make selection. Delete. And that's basically it, honestly. Oh, uh, as you can see right there. I'm gonna just take this out, I guess. And uh, sometimes I mess up like that. Um, this is basically it. It's probably gonna take me like an hour just to upload this. So whenever you see this, uh, I hope you enjoyed basically the tutorial on this. I'll show you the finished project product now because it takes about 10, 15 minutes to make. All right, so that's the finished product though. It looks really good, honestly, in my opinion. Um, it could be better, but I, I don't know. I don't. I can care less sometimes. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll probably end up speeding some of this up or something.